he behaves. So this is big for him. Big stuff for him. But anyway, he's addicted to my presence. And we're happily reunited. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Poultry Geist. What? <laughs> it says that my broadcast has ended. How did my broadcast end? I'm going to have to check that. Give me a moment. I'm going to pause the game. Am I still live, guys? That's really weird. It says that the broadcast I was watching has ended. Can you guys still hear me? Am I still live? Let me try to reload my stream. I don't know. Let me see. It says I'm still live. That's weird because what I'm watching my stream and it said the broadcast you're watching has ended. But thank you for answering me because that was a little bit scary. It said that the broadcast had ended. Very strange. All right. So you guys can hear me. You can see the screen. It's like paused right now outside the battle bliss. Yeah, I don't know what happened because um, my, my stream just said the broadcast ended and I'm like no it hasn't yeah I'm in Streamlabs right now because I wanted to check to make sure I was still online and everything that's really weird so you guys can hear me you guys can see the screen it's paused right now but you can hear me you can see the paused screen outside the battle list everything's good I just don't want to move any further yeah okay but I'm back now you can see everything you can hear everything because I don't want to move on until I know for sure that everything's working sorry about that guys I don't know what the hell happened very strange very strange and we lost like five people because of that no my stream has not ended i'm still here all right i guess all, all the uh darren showing emotions was just too much couldn't handle it stream could not handle it all right so let's go ahead and give it a save before any other weirdness happens very strange very strange all right Anywho, I think we're back now. So let's see. Um, yeah, that was really weird. Like five people left because they thought that the stream had ended. Trust me, if I was going to end the stream, I'd say, okay, bye, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I was ending the stream. I don't know what the hell happened. All right. Anyway, very weird. Maybe I just disconnected for a little a, a, a second. But I guess I'm back now. <laughs> Let me know if anything else strange happens. I don't know. I don't trust it today. Yes, too many emotions. Darren showing emotions? Darren feeling something for somebody? No, we can't have that. Disconnect, disconnect. All right, anyway. <laughs> so, such an interesting time. So did you actually get to see the whole Darren conversation before that? Because it didn't do that until after the conversation was over. So hopefully you guys got to see the whole thing. All right, anyway. Let's just see what else we got. Lands quest. Now. Hmm. Prisoner of the Abyss. I guess. Yeah, I know we just left. But since Sozio's with us. I guess we should go in here and deal with. Uh, the social quest, right? But I was pretty sure that you had to leave the place before the Darren scene triggered. So that's why I wanted to end the conversation with Sozial. But I guess since we're here, we'll try to do the Sozial quest since we're on it. Social quest. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. I don't trust it now. I'm like all paranoid that it's going to disconnect me for no reason again. All right, we're back. I know we were gone for so long. Okay. I'm going to just repeat this. Yeah, because that's what I thought I had to do to get to this. Okay. So, Sezil's ready to enter the arena and face Trevor. Very good. Follow me, please. And then we'll go try to do Land's quest. And then worry about the other stuff, I guess. I might have to get a snack here too soon. 
It's like lunchtime right now. So as Eel steps into the arena, his eyes wandering around the stands full of clamorous spectators. The taste of the demons and mortals like Blur emerging into a horrendous multi-eyed monster which roars at the top of its many lungs in an endless thirst for blood. They are chanting, the dire, the dire, and the dire one answers their call. Okay. A dark-skinned warrior in an enclosed helmet approaches. Sozeal. Approaches Sozeal. His body is covered with scars, old and new, intertwining in web-like layers. Even the fingers of the veteran gladiator are marred and disfigured. Those same hands that once produced delicate wooden designs, a source of joy for the whole village, now grip a weapon, and a weapon that is pointed at the young cleric. Half a speech, oh no. <laughs> oh well, I'm back now, so I guess you have time to write the other half. Alright. Why would you do that? Trevor, brother, is that you? The helmet prevents the gladiator from hearing anything not already drowned out by the crowd. The warrior breaks into a sprint and lunges at Sozial with his sword raised to strike. You know what? I realize we're in the middle of this whole uh, brother, brother reunion, but I wanted to look at something here. Unstart complete. All right. So I want to see what that changed if anything, because it still says unstart on the true love thing. But I believe it's flags for the trust counter. Mm. That's Sozial. Oh, well, F this then. We can't look at this right now because we're on Sozial. All right. Have to look at it later. All right. Anyway, that's a mod, by the way. The only thing I used it for is to check my my uh, status with Darren, just to make sure I'm not messing up his quest or his romance. But anyway, um, Trevor, it's me, Sozial. <laughs> the man in the helmet knocks Sozial down with a brutal strike. He hovers over the cleric, raising his weapon for a killing blow, but suddenly freezes, motionless, and looks his victim in the eye. Sozeal? Trevor lowers his weapon slowly, his disfigured fingers unclenched, letting the sword fall to the arena floor. The gladiator collapses to his knees next to the blade. Brother, I'm so sorry. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably pick this one, but I think we'll do this one first. Brother, how did this happen to you? I was fighting. I, I wanted to strain breathing. I was running underneath this helmet. The helmet, whatever. Okay, the, I, I'm having trouble reading today. Okay. The gladiator clenches his fist and shakes his head, unable to find the right words to tell his story properly. I wanted to kill them all at any cost. I wanted to spare you from going to war. They fooled me. There were too many of them, and the price that to pay was too high. Mm-hmm. Trevor, what have they done to you? No, that's not what matters. You're safe now. It's over. I've come for you. Let's go home. Brother, the gladiator takes Sozio's hand in his calloused palms, which now resemble the clawed paws of a beast, and squeezes them. Now that's an unexpected turn of events. The dire one meets his brother in the pit, and they refuse to fight. Don't worry, we promised you a thrilling spectacle, and you'll get it. Will the reunited brothers stand strong against a common enemy, or will they die together? Trevor eyes the ring of demons closing in around them and emits a low beast-like roar. He picks his blade back up and stands between Sozial and the enemy. Trevor, take this. Sozial holds, out, sh holds his shield out to Trevor. He hesitates for a moment, not sure if he's allowed to touch the shiny metal, but there is no time left to think, so he resolutely takes it. His brother puts his hands together in a prayer behind the gladiator's back, and the goddess seems to have heard this plea, even in the depths of the abyss. An iridescent glow begins to emanate from the shield. Many denizens of the city know the commander's name and recognize her in sight. Wow. I don't even have to do this fight. Okay, then. That was a bit of a fast camera flip. Wow, I was in real time with pause there for a moment <laughs> with the way that fight was going. Hey, we did it! <laughs> Or the cutscene did it. <laughs> I was there like, hey guys, what's up?
Alright. The crowd cheers and howls as the brothers stumble out of the arena. They are wounded and covered in blood, both demonic and their own, but joyful smiles lit up their faces. They look like those two innocent boys who once played the peaceful groves of Andorran many years ago. Freedom at long last. Hey, we got another companion in Act 4. Halfway through Act 4. Well, not maybe like a third of the way through Act 4. But yay, another companion! <laughs> I told you, there's some there's a companion you don't even meet till Act 4. But anyway, yeah, this is Trevor. Yay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Beware, monsters of the abyss! The Vainic brothers are together again! Let me introduce you, Trevor. This is the commander, my trusted leader, and my close friend. I never would have found you without her help. Commander, then. Thank you for looking after my little brother while I was gone. Congratulations, I guess. Thank you. This is all possible because of you. Hmm. I'm free. I can't believe I'm finally free. What are you going to do now? What say you, Trevor? Do we head home? I have the feeling that you've had more than enough of this war already. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. No. I have no right to hide at home, knowing that my brother is still bleeding on the battlefield. Then we will stand together, give each other strength, make the world a better place, and both return home. Uh, all right, then. Welcome to the crusade, Trevor. Thank you, Commander. Wait till you see his, his uh, setup. He's got like 19 classes or something. <laughs> like something. <laughs> There's a few. He's subclassed to Helen Beck. Literally. Ha ha. All right. Anyway, Trevor raises his disfigured hand in a salute, his stilted movement indicating how long it has been since he had, he had last had cause to offer one. Yes, brother. We will win this war and then finally go home. <laughs> yeah. Um I guess the game says we're kicking out Gravor for Trevor. <laughs> I mean, I do have to level him, so I guess I'll do it for now cuz we finished Gravor's quest. We still have lands. Apparently Sozil's injured. I guess we'll do that. All right, now first of all, you guys need to get right in the proper order again. Excuse you, excuse you. Um, yeah. I guess. I don't. I don't know what order to put these fools in. Um, who you own ass? So you'll. Actually, just take a potion. All right. Anyway, now yeah, we're done with all the little potions. But yeah, I gotta give him a mythic rank anyway. All right, he is basically just a tank. So let's see. Leading strike, maybe? Unrelenting assault. Hmm. Last stand. Yeah, I usually get last stand, leading strike, and um, unrelenting assault and thunderous blows. Thundering blows. Um, I think I'll give him this one for now. But yeah. He's a level 3 Hell Knight, a level 4 Armored armored Hulk, a level 5 Two-Handed Fighter, a level 2 Paladin. What? 
Level 2 Paladin, Level 3 Hell Knight, Level 4 Armored Hulk, Level 5 Two-Handed Fighter. What? What, my dude? What, my dude? Needs Chaotic Neutral. Interesting. But yeah. He was originally a Paladin, and he became a Fallen Paladin, and became a Hell Knight. And then after that, I guess he became these two things. I... Whatever. So that's a barbarian. A barbarian that wears heavy armor. And then two-handed fighters. Some fighters focus their efforts on finding the biggest, heaviest, most imposing weapon they can find. Train to manage and harness the weight of their massive weapons for maximum impact. These fighting school benefits only apply when using two-handed weapons. So, yeah. Okay, my dude. I saw somebody make a joke. They said, uh, the next patch, they're going to give Trevor five more classes. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I got to keep leveling him. So I guess we'll give him the rest of this stuff. <laughs> Ever ready? Mm. Actually, there's another one. Always a chance. Is the one where you don't miss. The one. Well, since we're getting really close to the bad fight, I think we'll give him last stand. Um. Always a chance is the one where you don't miss when you get a one. So there's that. Leading strike. And unrelenting assault. Ever ready is a stronger attack to opportunity. So I guess we'll get him this one. Alright. This is supposed to be really good. I usually just go straight for mythic ability. This is supposed to be really good. But for now, I'll stick to the ones I know. But that's supposed to be really good. I um, guess we'll go with Unrelenting Assault. Okay. Let's see. Ever ready? Maybe. That's ranged. Mythic charge. That's nice, but I very rarely have people charge because most of the time they can't. So I think we'll just go with either ever ready or always a chance. We got this one for now. Okay, so I think that's sorted. All right, let's go ahead and give it another quick save. Okay, so we still need to do Land's Quest since he's with us. So I guess we'll try to do that before going back to camp, just because we do have Land with us. And we have to get Aru back at camp anyway to do her quest, and Ember to do her quest, but that's a long ways away. In due time. But I guess I might as well try to do lands while we're here. Since we've got him with us. Assuming I don't get interrupted and have to end early. Because that's always a possibility. Alright, anyway. Okay, please get away from the rotating building. Makes me think that Ivu and Wolgif will get their tails cut off. Okay. <laughs> Those tells. You never know. Alright, so let's see. Okay, that is ongoing. That's upper city. That's ongoing. That's upper city. That's Ember, but much later. That is Lands. That is Aru's. And this is Graybor's. I forgot I still have one for him, too. Whoopsies. Oh well, we had to level Trevor anyway, so it's fine. Alright, so we'll try to go to the upper city and get lands. And if we see the other places on the way. Actually, I think the Ardent Dreams place is in Middle City. <laughs> what? What did I mean with the stream? Okay. Actually, um, I think the 
Yeah, the har the harem of ardent dreams or whatever it's called, I believe is Middle City. But since we have Lan with us, and we don't really need a specific companion for that one, I guess we'll try to do Lan's before we go nap. All right, that is Middle City. But uh, we got the door to Upper City in there, which we might be able to go through now. So we'll try it. Back to the whorehouse we go. Fun times. Yeah, it loads really slow when I'm streaming. It loads a lot quicker when I'm not. I don't know. All right. So now what did I mean about the stream? <laughs> All right. Who is our highest AC now? Lan. The archer. The archer is the highest AC. Okay. Sure. Not the tank with 900 classes, but the archer. All right. Cool. All right. You going to let us get through this door now, my buddy? Oh, jeez. I don't know who that is calling me, but they need to go away. I don't recognize the number, so I'm not answering it. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Alright, if it's important, they'll leave a message, right? Okay. The demon scowls at you, glancing wearily at his chain collar and clutching a magic wand in his clawed hand. Mm hmm Oh my god. Hold on a second, guys. I gotta figure out who's calling me. One moment. Okay, I think I'm back. Some weird random wrong number that claims that I called them. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm trying to get my stream to call, come back up now. So, let's see. Let's see. All right. Can you guys hear me? Am I back? Let me check Streamlabs real quick. I'm in stream. Yay, fun house. Oh, yes. The brothel. Okay. All right, but you can hear me now. But yeah, I was going to try to ignore it, but they called me back the second after I uh, dismissed the call. So I'm like, are you going to keep calling me while I'm trying to stream? <laughs> but yeah, they claim that I called them. And I'm like, uh, I haven't called anybody at all. I can't even remember the last time I made a phone call. <laughs> so I don't know where you got this number, but no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> chaos, chaos, I tell you. All right, so... Will somebody say something in chat so I know if my chat's reloaded? Because right now it's not sh showing anything. Okay. All right. Cool. You're 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 there. All right. Good. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I I have not made any phone calls at all since I switched to this phone, which has the same number as my old phone. And I've had this phone for like almost a month. I haven't made any phone calls, so I don't know where the hell she got this number. <laughs> but anyway, any who's. All right. So I want to go through that door. Feel free to do just that. You're not Riff Raff. This door is made for people like you. I'm famous now. Yay. I can go through the door if I want to. The guard forces out a polite grin. All right, cool. All according to plan. <laughs> She's on drugs. It's fine. <laughs> All righties. Anyway, 
So yes, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by random weirdos calling me and saying that I called them when I haven't called anybody since I got this phone. <laughs> I don't make phone calls. I don't. I occasionally will send a text message to my housemate about the dogs or if I have to pick up their kid from the bus stop. That's about it. Okay, so here we are in the upper city. I believe, right? Upper city. All right, so we got to try to find uh, Sava Malek's whatever for Land's Quest. Because he's going to have this permanent stupid sicken debuff. Don't know why he's still shaking. Yeah, shaking and sicken. What is this? Powerful stance? Whatever, dude. All right, let's have a look around, see what we can find. But yeah, until you do uh, Land's Quest, he's going to be shaken and sickened which is annoying to say the least i did cast remove sickness on him so at least that won't be a problem is this Nocticula's place no i don't think it is you do go across the bridge to get to her place though okay this tree is growing straight out of the lava apparently something <laughs> Apparently it's no trouble at all. Then again, it's clearly no ordinary tree. Blood is just from scratches on its bark, and the buds on its branches reek of rotten meat. All right. Sounds cool. All right. So we've got... Up here we've got Arrow's Quest. Oh, God. Rumble Dumb, the actor, from behind a pile of expensive rugs and neatly wrapped boxes with the clinking of fragile things inside, you hear a very, very loud whisper, an oddly familiar stage whisper. Grandma Gretlin, my horn is falling off. Calm down, let me fix it. All right, whose foot did I just step on? And whose chest spikes keep catching up, catching on my fake tail? Grandma, don't push me. Let me just glue this, that horn myself. Says he was fresh and late and casting off the tired despondency of a man occupied day and night with unpleasant but important work. The cleric smiles broadly. And it is that good, pure, and kind-hearted smile you so often saw on his face back in Galarian, so rarely here in the abyss. Um. Oh god, anyone wants to free slaves? Mostly use your phone for naughty stuff like ordering food, paying bills, and oh yeah. Uh, you just made, you just tempted me to order food, but I'm not going to have enough time by the time I finish. I don't really have, probably, I probably have enough for the food itself, but not the stupid delivery fees. <laughs> I guess I'll have to pass. Alright, anyway. Because, you know, if you use DoorDash, which I don't know if you even have over there, but it's like a delivery service that encompasses all the restaurants in the area, they, like, charge you for the food, plus tax, and then, like, $900 for delivery fees. Or close to that. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. Grandma Gretlin, what are you doing here, folks? These are actors that have been reoccurring throughout the story. They're just silly comic relief things for those of you that are new to the story and are like, who the hell are these people she's talking to? Yes, these are an acting troupe slash comic relief that we've been, that have been popping up like every act. <laughs> so, oh my dearies, this can't be real, but I think I just heard the commander's voice. It sounds crazy, but for the sake of argument, let's say it isn't just my imagination. Let's say we truly, through some miracle, met the commander in the middle of the abyss. Well, in that highly unlikely scenario, I would answer her that we, being true artists, sought inspiration and material in the most suitable place. We've already spent a great deal of time among the Crusaders. Now let us turn our efforts to the other half of the characters in our play, the demons. That is why our imaginary friend, Commander, we are sitting in the middle of the abyss covered in thick layers of makeup wearing fake horns and tails. To blend in with the locals, you see, this is a true challenge for an actor. To play a demon so well that even real demons don't suspect a thing. Okay, guys. After all, it works perfectly well when I pretended to be the Hell Knight's paralictor and showed up at their camp for an unscheduled inspection. Oh, how they ran and dashed about. In the end, I ordered them to dig a trench in the shape of a fig. Ow, Grandma, why are you stepping on my foot again? <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> kind of want to say that just because it's funny. But for the love of all, it's holy. Please get rid of all the makeup when you get back to Dresden. I don't want the patrols to mistake you for attacking demons. Certainly, of course, imaginary commander. But I'm honestly not sure if this paint will wash away or the horns will come off. I used a very strong glue. <laughs> Speaking of Dresden, Grandma, don't you have a feeling we forgot something? Our dinner basket? 
the grandma's knitting. Lambkin? <laughs> Lambkin is in the room with our dinner basket and my knitting is sitting on top of it. This is terrible, my dearies. We have to go back. Hey, guys. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Now, Rapture of Rupture. That must be Valexia's mansion, I believe. Let's check again. I thought it was it's Shamira's. Shamira's in the middle city. Valexia's in the upper city. That's what it was. Yeah, Valexia's in the upper city. Shamira's in the middle city. Well, this isn't Land's Quest, but since we're right here, and this place is a pain in the butt to navigate, I guess we'll go here. You're surrounded by the sound of melodious voice that seems to be coming from the stone pillars all around you. Greetings, esteemed guests. Are you here to seek the hospitality of the illustrious Lady Valexia? Or are you here on other business? The entrance to this manor greets you politely. It is far more gracious than the impudent foul mouth door with 10,000 lights. Uh-huh. Whose manor is this? The manor is called the Rapture of Rupture, and it belongs to the incomparable Lady Valexia. She is the shining star of Elishanera, and its most glorious resident, after the magnificent Lady Nepticula, of course. Mm -hmm. I seek Lady Valexia's patronage and would like to enter. Welcome to the Rapture of Rupture, esteemed lady. Lady Valexia will be notified of your arrival right away. Okay. An hour and a half. I'm deciding if I should get a snack now or try to wait. Because I'm getting very hungry right now. <laughs> okay. Alright. So here we are. Valexia. Okay. Yeah, she was the one at the arena, not Shamira. All these succubi. All blending together. <laughs> All right. Now, this is going to be interesting without the cues. Because you have to talk to her a certain way. So, let's try it, I guess. The demon... Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Okay. Order food. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Thank you, Heim. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'll have to wait a couple days before that I can actually get the, get the money. But a little quicker than it is when uh, it's just uh, the the actual money that Twitch owes me, because <laughs> you know they make you wait forever for that. But thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, donations I can usually get in a couple days. I just have to wait for them to go through. I mean, I could do it instantly, but then it's an extra fee but we'll see we'll see but thank you so much <laughs> thank you thank you that is very very sweet of you but yeah um i don't know how familiar you guys are with this but when it's money from like subscriptions ads bits you have to hit a certain amount before twitch will send it to you so you could be waiting ages on that now donations you can get right away or within a few days if you don't want to pay the fee you have to wait a couple days but so donations are always better if you want to support a streamer because if it's if i mean subscribing is great bits are great but it'll be a long time before they see that <laughs> but donations you can get either instantly or in a few days if you don't want to pay the fee but thank you guys so if you ever wondered how to support a streamer that's the best way to do it because we have to wait forever to get our money from subscriptions ads and bits but the donations we can get right away if we want to pay a fee or a couple days so if, it's, if you only have like a, a tiny amount that you want to support somebody with, I'm not saying me, just anybody in general, donations are always the, the better option because they can get those a lot sooner. But thank you. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. And maybe, maybe if I get especially, especially hangry, I might, might transfer it sooner. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh now, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Something about this chick. I gotta say certain things to her to make her like you. <laughs> Something like that. But anyway, but she's a demon. You gotta know how to talk to demons, I guess. Oh, gosh. But anyway, so we're here at Valexia. This is another one of our quests. I was looking for the land quest, but I figured since we stumbled over this one, might as well do it because I don't want to have to try to find things again if I don't have to. All right. The demon that comes to greet you as blonde hair and is wearing a modest but elegant dress. She seems surprisingly friendly. Her soft voice and impeccable manners seem out of place in a city where extreme passions and boundless indulgence prevail over temperance and moderation. A new guest has arrived. How exciting. A mortal from Galarian. If my eyes do not deceive me, what brings you to my manor? This is all very intriguing. 
Alexia. We have clashed in battle many times. Her claws were always stained with the blood of those she killed in the battlefield. Now she looks different, but I'm certain her true nature remains unchanged. She is still violent and dangerous. You must be on your guard, champion. Cezio looks embarrassed. He speaks reluctantly as if he finds the words difficult. I'm sure the heart that beats within her chest is wicked and merciless, but my goddess demands that I'm sincere when I see true beauty, though I dread to ask how many lives such a beauty has taken. Such a compliment! Sudden and unsophisticated, yet surprisingly delightful. I never thought that words of admiration from a mortal could touch my heart, but it seems that praise from a cleric of Shadeland can make even a succubus feel flattered. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So, let's see. This is always interesting with the cues off, because I've never gotten this far in the game without the cues. And when I say the cues, what I'm talking about, for those that aren't familiar, normally the default settings of the game, it'll tell you in dialogue which is the chaotic choice, which is the lawful, which is the evil, which is the good, etc. I turned those off because I didn't want to be influenced by them. And this is the first time I've played the, this far into the game with the cues off. And uh, I did that deliberately and started at the uh, center of the alignment, right at dead neutral. And through all the choices that I've made in this playthrough, it's now uh, convinced that I'm chaotic good. <laughs> so that gives you an idea of why I keep referring to the cues and stuff. Because they're normally on when you play the game normally. But I turned them off because I wanted to see where my alignment would end up if I didn't have those cues influencing me to pick a certain thing. So now I'm just picking what feels like I should pick. Because I did play it the whole way through with the cues, but it's been like a year. So I don't remember them all. I remember some of them. Some of them are obvious. But yeah. Um, let's see. I guess we'll go with this one. I'm the commander of the Crusaders of Galarian. I'm a famous warrior known for my amazing powers. I seek the honor of your attention and the pleasure of your inestimable company. Order food. I need some food. And cooking will take forever since all meat is frozen currently. Oh, believe me. I am so tempted to order food. You're, you're enabling me, Haim. You're enabling me. But I don't really have a lot of time and I don't know how long it would take them to get here. <laughs> but I'm tempted. I'm tempted. But anyway, uh... <laughs> So yeah, we'll say this one. Valexi answers politely without much enthusiasm. Known for your amazing powers. Here in the Abyss, you will need more than power and influence to impress others. Your special abilities will hardly give you the same status as they did in your home world. The demons will not see you as worthy of glory and respect until you demonstrate what makes you unique. However, you've managed to pique my interests, and I'd be glad to make your acquaintance. There is no need to bother with titles. You can simply call me Valexia. And you are... Don't put your trust in her words, champion. Flexia's temper is like a wind that blows across Ishiar. It changes constantly and bodes poorly for us no matter dire what direction it turns. You must watch her as vigilantly as a skilled sailor watches the horizon. You can call me Seraphine. Seraphine. Lexi rolls your name slowly across her tongue as if tasting the way it sounds. What an unusual name. Certainly not in keeping with the spirit of the abyss. Well, no, because it's very close to the word Seraphim. <laughs> okay, but anyway... But I like it. You know, Seraphine, I have a proposal for you. Let's pick a place that's nice and romantic and go on an innocent little date together. Um, have you met Day? Yeah, Day is not the jealous type. We've covered this in other streams. But <laughs> it'll be a chance for us to get to know one another. Yeah, um, yeah, I mentioned earlier that <laughs> if you look up the, uh, the companions on the wiki, for some reason they felt the need to put in uh, the information about Day that he's the only companion is perfectly fine with polyamorous relationships. Like, yeah. Okay, Day. And uh, before we got sent here, his ex-boyfriend moved to uh, the same city we were living in. I'm like, well, that's an interesting turn of events for a guy who's not shy away, shying away from polyamory. <laughs> and now his ex is here. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I don't know why they put that in Wik Wikipedia for this game. I guess in case you wanted to try to romance two companions. But th the thing is, it's like I accidentally had Lan thinking that he was romancing me when I was just trying to be nice. And I had a scene in my one game where um, Lan and Day showed up in my room and they're like, which one of us do you like better? And I'm like, what? I was just nice to Lan. I've been doing all kinds of stuff with Day. Wh what are you talking about? Lan, you're not even in, in the... 
on the radar. What, what, what are you talking about? But it's like, okay, so Day is the only one that's cool with polyamory, but if he's the only one that's cool with it, then wouldn't it not matter anyway? Because the other ones aren't? <laughs> so it's like, eh? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Pollyanna. <laughs> don't give in. Cook. I'll totally cook. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, jeez. All right. So she wants us to go on a date, eh? How about the Battle Bliss? Oh, yes. I haven't spent enough time there. It offers simple spirit entertainment, and it will be a good place for us to talk. Sim simple spirit entertainment. And it'll be a good place for us to talk undisturbed. Um, yeah. No one will notice us because they'll be too busy watching the fights in the pit. We can have a nice conversation and learn more about one another. I'll be waiting for you at the arena. I hope you'll accept my invitation. I'll be very disappointed if you deny me the pleasure of your company. Okay. Cool, babe. Flexia gives you an admiring smile and adds, After all, you are the champion. You've conquered the arena. We're better to learn more about you than in the place you proved your worth. Mm -hmm. I still like Day better than you. Back off, babe. Alright, anyway. She's <laughs> Jay. Has something to say. Uh, have you have you met my, my, my actual man? He has something to say here. Alright. Who does she think we are? Circus troop hired to entertain guests at a ball? The effrontery. Call me old-fashioned, but I rather think we should go back to the traditional kill-on-sight method of dealing with demons. <laughs> He's so evil. He wants to kill demons on sight. Yep. You're so evil, Day. So evil. Wanting to kill all the evil demons. So very evil. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> Attack. Uh, everyone talks a lot about you here in Alishanera. Who are you? Yes, Day. I would like to kill her on sight, too, but the quest says I have to try to get an audience with Nocticula, which means i got to kiss all her little girlfriend's asses, apparently. Anyway, everyone talks about you here in Alishanera. Who are you? Valexia laughs happily. How refreshingly direct. Well, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Lady Valexia, but it is common for others to add a few epithets, epithets for, before my name, often something like magnificent or illustrious. I hold considerable influence in the upper city. You could even call it my little queendom. I'm the foremost member of the city's elite, and all the aristocrats of Alessianera acknowledge me as their de facto leader. You might be under the misconception that the city is ruled by Shamira, but... Shamira is nothing more than a glorified cleaner, entrusted with the responsibility of tending to the latrines. I, on the other hand, hold sway over the most powerful and influential demons in the city. You see, my dear friend Nocticula allows me to lead the nobility, because I look out for her interests. She knows that I am loyal, unlike most demons. I do not aspire to power beyond what I already possess. I would never stage a coup against Our Lady in Shadow, nor would I ever use my position in society to support anyone in el else in such a foolish endeavor. <laughs> Kissing asses. <laughs> well, they're mostly succubi, so... I'm guessing they'll be shapely, considering they're all supposed to be gorgeous and shit. All right. Bye, babes. Alexia smiles warmly as she bids you farewell. Please don't stay away too long. Come back soon. All right. See ya, hun. All right. So we did that one. <laughs> we have to go to the battle list now. Guess I haven't done this yet, but I think you got to actually go on the date with her before you can do that anyway. Alright, so, since we still have Lan with us, I guess we'll try to get his quest done before we go back to camp. Because he's still going to have the stupid dub off until we get his quest done. Now, okay, now didn't it say that Lan was our highest AC, but now it looks like Ivu, which makes a bit more sense. But hey, Ivu, you like doing tricks? Here, put your own light on. She looks so cute when she casts, too. She's so cute. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Goodness. <laughs> Goodness. Yes, Haim, I know. You're so wholesome, you can't, you can't handle the talk of kissing succubi asses. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend your wholesomeness. <laughs> Alright, let's go see if we can find Land's Quest somewhere. Somewhere. I think we were going this direction? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think we can go much further. There's a portal up. Guess we'll go up there since we're here. Mm-hmm. Might be trap, might be treasure. Mm-hmm. All right. Alright. 
Yeah, I don't remember exactly where Savamelik's thing is, but oh, Ivo, Ivo flipping out. <laughs> Alright. I don't know, I think you have to be down below it to click it. It's just some stupid thing about lava or something. I don't know. Not important. Not important. Hello, invisible dudes. Yeah, be on my way. I'll be on my way when I feel like it. Didn't we already just kill a bunch of vampires? Watchful conspirator. Okay, what are you seeing? Are you seeing something on the roofs again? Yes. Stop dinging at me when it's on the roof. Alright, anyway. Oh, Land drops to his knees, his breath coming in rattling gasps. Darn those succubi. Oh no, your wholesomeness. <laughs> he looks at you, trying to say something, black liquid bubbling on his lips. His human eyes turn white, and something viscous and black slowly trickles from it, like tears. Well, I think we found Salvamelech's lair. Mm -hmm. This is a guy from the tutorial. Land's ex-girlfriend was uh, sending their people to him to prove that they were worthy of getting powers from him by uh, eating people. So, she would send their villagers to this dude. They would eat some people, and he'd give them powers. Now you know who Sava was. Alright, anyway. Okay. Oh, please. I don't think your body can handle this. You're sure you're able to fight this demon. Land shakes his head. I can manage. I don't know what will happen when I go in, but I won't be a burden ever. Oh, don't you start trying to steal Day's lines. They only work for him. Anyway, if I can't walk, I'll crawl, on, crawl to him and gnaw on his ankles, or at least bite his toes off. Okay. All right. All right, suck it up and let's go. Let's finish him. Land struggles to his feet. I will fight. I'm ready. If not for this, then for what, right? He is trying to smile, but all he manages is a painful grimace. If I kill him now, the mongrels won't have to suffer ever again. If this was a rehearsal f of my death, I'd rather die fighting that fiend than die like this. Oh, it just put us inside. Okay, cool. Now, I'm trying to remember what this fight is like. I think it's kind of annoying but not too bad. I don't remember, though. It's been a long time since I've done this. But at least now we can go to camp, because we did Sozeals, and now we're doing lands. And we've got one for Greybor, one for Ember, and one for Arushale. Still. I think that's it. For now, anyway. Gonna steal your shit, bro. You don't mind, right? Okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Oh, hi. Hi, friendos. <sighs> the demon's grim figure, which resembles a skeleton with glossy skin. Oh, a glossy skeleton. Stretched over it, hovers above you. A sea of eyes glitter hungrily in the darkness. The mongrels have been trained well, and they make not a sound as they await their master's order to attack. My child, you have finally come to me. It took you such a long time to find your father's home. I called and called. I started to think you, you couldn't hear my call, couldn't feel my touch, but I see that you do. Your body reacts to my presence. Black tears shed for a great sin. They mean my poison has penetrated deep within you. Lan, that's your name, isn't it? I accept you, my prodigal son. I will accept you if you join, if you want to join me. How do you want to be initiated? With my poison in the flesh of the innocent, like all of your kin, to build your strength? Or will you let me thrust my stinger in you? Okay, it's getting kinky up in here. This will either kill you or make you the greatest of all mongrels. Decide now while I, your father, am feeling benevolent. The chamber grows darker, almost as if Savamalek is absorbing the light. Land fall, falls, trying and failing to get up. I'd rather die than serve you. His voice lowers to a dull growl. And you are not my father, you freak. 
You know so little, you weak, pathetic mongrel. I made you. You are my creations, and you will return to me. Lan grinds his teeth to, a st to stop a scream of pain. Lies. Mm -hmm. So many good ones, I want to say. Um... Where did you get these mongrels from? Didn't you flee neath home alone with your tail between your legs? Oh, Commander, Genistim, you are the only one with a loyal army. I've been gathering my children for years. Those who were thought to have been lost in the caves actually found their true home. See any familiar faces, Lan? Lan looks at the mongrels. Rolo, old Gorum. But it's not possible. They're supposed to be dead. They went missing when I was a kid. My poison doesn't kill mongrels, it gives them life. A long, long life. Those who remained in Dresden also deserve a long life. But what about you? Is this how you want to die? I'd rather die than obey you. Land doubles over in pain again. Mm -hmm. Your magic didn't affect Land in the caves below Canabras, but now it's turning him inside out. What changed? Do you really think my powers are as crude as that? In the caves, I summoned those I chose. Here I am calling to the blood of all my children. I'm calling to the sin of their ancestors, to that old promise to return them to my side. No one can resist this call. The demon grins. And you, Commander, cannot resist the call of duty. This is why you are here, and not in your fortress. And it's because I was sent here by that bitch. I mean, the lovely queen. <laughs> and then she locked the door behind me. Because I was making her look bad. By doing all the stuff she couldn't do. But anyway. What do you mean you made them, Salamalek? Mongrels are descended from crusaders who were poisoned by demon filth. Well, he has demon filth, technically. <laughs> I just read ahead. Salamalek's bulging white eyes drink on the sight of land rising on the ground. Yes, and I was that filth. I was the sweet poison that corrupted them. I'll tell you a story, my naive commander. A long, long time ago, when stupid mortals thought that one crusade would be enough, that was one stupid mortal that was running that crusade, and then she felled another four or so. But anyway, then she put me in charge, and since I did such a good job, she locked me away in hell. She's sweet. We love her. But anyway, uh, angels came down from heaven to fight among you. Kariel, a child of light, led a troop of crusaders deep into the wound. The darkness deepens and land screams in pain. Shut up, you scum. They walked for many days and lost their way. The wastelands became a, or seemed a labyrinth to them, as if someone had confused them on purpose. They ran out of food and water. Despair and incredible rabid hunger overtook them. Only Kariel kept going and demanded the same of them. And then one of the crusaders said, He is a stranger, this angel. He is not one of us. If we kill and eat him, he won't be missed, and his holy flesh will give us the strength and get, to get out of here. See how he walks so briskly without tiring? We will gain his strength. Angel food cake. I beat you to that pun, Heim. I know, it was bad. It was just bad. It was just bad. Anyway, the other crusaders were terrified, but the more their hunger tormented them, the more eagerly they looked upon Kariel, and one night in the darkness they did what they had talked about, and the one who planted this idea in their heads dealt the first blow. <laughs> oh dear. Yes. <laughs> and when the feast was over, I shed my crusaders' guise and assumed my true form. I told them I was letting them go home, but that my brand, a brand of sin, would stay with them and their children forevermore. My poison would flow in their veins, and when I gave the order, they would come to me. Hey, everybody. We just figured out how, lo how mongrels were made. This guy pretended to be a crusader and convinced them all to eat an angel. And then you get mongrels. See? The more you know. The more you know. You are lying, Lena Shane. You are lying. Hmm. <laughs> See no reason to defend them. Can tell which choice is the evil one, obviously. Um. Land fight. It's just a demon. We've killed plenty before. You're stronger than this. I am. Land tries to get up but can't, and he pounds his fist in the floor in despair. No, I can't. What? I can't let you down, Commander. I'm. Done. Finish me off. It's better this way. Mm-hmm. Can pass that easily. Can pass that even more easily. And I can pass that easily. Um. Guess we'll go with this one. Did you promise me you would be able to fight? I didn't take you for a man who breaks his promises. Land forces a smirk, yes, and I promise to fight as much as I can. He closes his eyes and takes a deep breath. I 
Give me a moment. I'll get up. I can do it. I'll keep my word. Uh-oh. Lawful. Oh, God. Enough talking. It's time you paid for everything. Oh, no, Commander. While I did receive mythic power from my master, I'm not in the mood to fight now. It's time for me to visit my children in Dresden, the city you abandoned. Excuse me, I was kicked out and locked in here. Let's thank the queen again, folks. <clears throat> okay, anyway. I did not abandon Dresden. I had a very nice bedroom there. Ask Darren. He's been in quite a bit. I mean, what? All right, anyway, without me, they are wandering in darkness, but I will give them power. Too bad you won't be able to follow me. We'll literally be worlds apart. Thanks again, Queenie. Thanks again. Everybody, she's the greatest queen ever. No, you won't touch them. Kill me, but don't touch them. What are you talking about, my child? Of course I'll kill you. Not personally, though. I will leave you in the capable hands of your kin. They may be a few, but each of them is worth a dozen experienced soldiers. If you happen to survive, next time we meet, I'll have an army. Prepare to see even more familiar faces in it, land. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure, Heim. Can't wait till you play the game and have her do this to you. <laughs> It'll be like, it's okay, honey. I don't mind you locking me in hell because I'm making you look bad. It's fine. <laughs> You'll probably pick that option. It's like... I understand why you're doing this. Bye. <laughs> like, no. Even the angel and the hell knight were telling her to knock her crap off. But <laughs> anyway. So yeah, we don't fight Sava Malik yet. Just all these other fools. That's right. I couldn't remember exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think he takes off again like he did last time. But there's a bunch of these idiots in here. Yep, he just took off again. Stop throwing shit at me. Actually, he's throwing it at Lan. Oh, Trevor, you're here now. Okay, cool. Cool, bro. Holy! What the? Did he just crit for 76? D did I imagine that? Uh, okay. Thanks. Um, sure. Well, Jeff, can you beat that? Oh, didn't see that dude there. Whoopsies. No. I didn't see that dude there. My bads. My bads. Okay, um. Let's see. Ivo, can you do this without hitting Lan? He's got enough issues going on right now. Let's see. I'm here. Lan's there. Okay. Alright, Lan. First of all, move your butt back a little bit. Yay, more friends. I seem to recall there being traps or something, too, but I could be wrong. There's a lot of traps in this damn place. Okay, um... Wolgif is slightly hurt, but it's not too bad. Lan is slightly hurt. Um. Thought I heard something. Don't know. Alright, anyway. Let's move... This way, I guess. And then... Do this. Alright. It's like I'm trying to watch the door to make sure nobody's home early, and I'm also trying to watch the screen. I'm like, I don't have enough places I can look at one time. Alright, so Zeal, you're here. We got one fool right right next to you. So I guess smack him. <laughs> Alright, I got Trevor's next to me. Um, let's see. Got 
three there. One there, one there, two there, three there. Whole lot of fools. Whole lot of fools. Alright. If I take this five foot step, can I burning hands these jerks? Okay. It's like, they're not that tough, but there's just a whole lot of them. And they do like throwing stuff, apparently. I do. Alright, Trevor, you got another 76 in there for us, my buddy? Okay. He hits a little hard. <laughs> All right. Well, Jeff, you got a fool right in your face. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? That's more like it. Now that one attack nonsense you did last time, buddy. All right. I will. Okay. Lan. Hmm. I love cleaving shot. So good. So good. Day. Let's see. Sozeal's slightly hurt, but not too bad. Um the heck? I keep hearing like an alarm or a phone or something. It's not mine. So I don't know what what I'm hearing. It's so weird. Okay, anyway. Anyway, day. Um so so deal slightly injured, but it's not really that much of an issue right now. Um guess we'll try to move day this way and guess we'll do that all right okay so zeal Okay then. There's just so many of these fools. My goodness. That one's apparently dead. Awful lively for a dead dude. Alright, I'm here. You got one guy right next to me though. I got these two up here. Guess we'll. Now that. I'll hit Lan if I try to hit this guy too, so we'll just go after these two again. Okay. <laughs> Stop throwing stuff, it's rude. <laughs> Who died? Hit his own dude with the. <laughs> gonna have crips with sliced banana caramel sauce and whipped cream. You can't be talking about food like that without sending me some, my dude. You know the rules. How long will it take to get from Europe to here? <laughs> okay. Just, just a couple days, right? <laughs> All right, Trevor. Um, I'm not close enough for this guy. So I guess just go hit this one. Holy crap, he does so much damage. Alright, anyway. Hi, boo! Oh my god, where is everybody even? Okay, so we got three guys right behind her, but her breath attack's on cooldown at the moment. So I guess... Just... Hit one of them. Oh, holy... 
dragon power. Okay. We're getting some nice hits this time. Ten hours at strike flight? <laughs> you done the math, though. Yeah, go after these guys. Ain't nobody messing with them yet. Only one? Really? Really, my dude? Alright, I guess you can heal Soziel. He's not that hurt, though. No, actually, we'll just slightly tinyly hurt, too. Okay. With this, like, red glow around Trevor, I keep thinking he's one of the bad guys, but that's his barbarian rage thing, I think. But yeah, usually, it's like, when you see the red glow, it's the bad guys. <laughs> but yeah, I just keep thinking that Trevor's one of the bad guys. And I'm like, oh, wait. And he's like, no, it's not, not one of the bad guys. Alright, anyway. What? Did he kill his own guy? Am I imagining that, or did he just kill his own dude? Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Barbie Rage. <laughs> now that song's gonna be stuck in my head. Seriously, did he just kill his own dude, though? <laughs> be gone, fiend! Yeah, we're getting some good hits on these guys, at least. <laughs> All right, so we got one there, two there, three here. I think that's it, right? So I think I'm gonna go after these these ones up here. Okay. Too fancy. Just a little spin. Wow. Good hits, my man. All right. So. Yeah, get rid of this guy. He's annoying. Holy crap, Trevor. I don't remember him doing that much damage before. Did they, like, buff him up or what? I don't know, man. All right. Distract them for me. Okay, I'm glad you saw Time something. There you go. Trap. I will. Guess go take care of these fools. Well, only one hit, but it was a nice hit. Endure this. All right. Anybody need healed? Sezil has like a paper cut. Um. So we'll just not worry about him right now. Have Day actually do something useful instead of just babysitting. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do this. Oh, Kicking ass like a healer. All right. Part buffalo now? says you can't reach that dude I think both these ones are dead so I guess you can cast then since you're not close enough okay <laughs> they really don't like so deal my turn I'm actually close enough to do a touch attack, which is odd for me. Yeah. Trevor. Oh shit, I didn't have anything on Trevor's bars. Um, because I just got him, didn't even think about it. Um, not that he really has much that I could put on his bars. See, these are his paladin par powers that he can't use because he's a fallen paladin. But he can still use this one because of Hell Knight. There's so many freaking classes. What is this? Okay, cool. Cool story, bro. 
Okay. Bull rush. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people like that, but I'm just like, eh. Power attack. I'll turn that off. Don't like penalties. Rage. Two penalty in armor class. Eh. I was looking for charge, but then I remembered that I forgot to <laughs> remembered that I forgot to put all this stuff on here when we got him. I don't think he can charge. So I guess just do this since you're not close enough to do anything else. All right. Okay then. Well, there is a trap up here, which is problematic to say the least. So we'll just move her here and get ready for a breath attack next round. Because I don't want to send her through the trap. Guess she can do this. Doesn't do much damage, but... Sure, you've been zapped, my buddy. Make every strike count. Day. Guess you can give Sozio a teeny tiny little heal. Okay. Sozio, don't want to send him through the trap, so let's have him cast. I think it's the last guy, right? I think it is. He just really doesn't like Soziel. I think he's attacked Soziel every time, hasn't he? Oh, whatever, man. I mean, if that's what you want to do with your life. That's that's your ch decision. Okay, anyway. Move here, but I'm not going to go through the trap. Uh, again, you can't do much because you don't have any ranged attacks. Unless he's got a ranged weapon, does he? I don't know. I guess. No. What do you even have, my, my buddy? Shield of Faith. I guess he can throw one of these things. Since he doesn't have any other ranged attacks other than Smite Chaos, which he already used. Wait, why did I put that one on there? Holy Water I don't think will work on him because he's not considered a demon. Well, since you have no ranged attacks, I guess just do that. Wolgif, on the other hand, has ranged attacks. Dead, eh? Mm, Trevor? I don't think so. He doesn't have a spell book, no. Because he, he's a fallen paladin. And I guess he... Some Hell Knights have some spells, but I think it's a certain, certain type of Hell Knight. They take a certain feat or something. But yeah, he doesn't have any spells, it doesn't look like. He doesn't even have a spell book, I don't think. But anyway... Ivu. Done and done. All right. So yeah, it wasn't really hard. There's just a lot of them. Anyway, Lan is still pal, but he's obviously much improved. It's a strange feeling. I just stop thinking about my tribe and fulfill my duty as a crusader, but I can't. I'm a mongrel, and I have a duty to the mongrels, too. My heart is like my face now, split in two. My cold-blooded half tells me to forget about the tribe, but my human half is desperate to find a way back to Galarian. Aren't we all, buddy? Lan looks at you intently. Until we do what the queen has sent us here to do. It's lawful neutral showing. Uh, we can't leave this place, right, Commander? Tell me I need to hear it. <laughs> Thanks. Things. But yeah, you can tell he's lawful neutral. Until we do what the queen told us to do, uh, the queen can suck my toe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I freaking... You're lawful neutral. And the reason why I have you so far down in my list of people I like is because you're lawful neutral. <sighs> lawful characters just annoy me so much. But anyway, uh... <laughs> Uh, 
let's see. <laughs> yeah, I'm something. Your crepe, right? You're making those tasty crepes. Can give one to her too. Maybe it'll shut her mouth. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Safe in Dresden? Um, the queen's in charge of Dresden. Nobody's safe. Um, that's definitely the lawful answer, I think. Seven Malik's presence alone had you writhing in agony just now. Will you be able to fight him once we catch up to him? <laughs> yes, with your crepe. <laughs> At least you've got a plan. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I'll be able to help him or not, but, but I have to try. It's a matter of honor. Or handle him. I can't read today. I told you I cannot read today. Uh, all right. It's a matter of honor. Whatever. Do you think Savamalik was lying about your ancestors? I want to believe that he's lying, but deep down I know it's true. Our deformities aren't a sign of the valor of our ancestors who fought in the wound and sacrificed themselves for the cause. Our deformities brand us as criminals. We're not under... Well, technically it wasn't you. It was your ancestors. So that's kind of a bullshit way of looking at it too, my buddy. But anyway, um, we're not underground crusaders. We're outcasts who belong in the caves or in the abyss. I'll do anything to keep Sol and the others from finding out about this. I'll fight Savamalik and rip his vile tongue out, but that won't change the truth. We're cursed forever. That's obviously the lawful answer. <laughs> I think that's definitely the chaotic answer. Um, I think that's the evil answer. So I, this might be the good answer, but I think I'm going to go with this one. We're not responsible for our ancestors' actions, but we are free to choose our own path. I don't know. I used to think so, but that was before I found out my people dismembered and devoured an angel. That's when my belief in our heroic past and radiant future hit a bit of a rough patch. So I'm sorry. I can't find it in me to agree with you. The only thing... Well, it's because you're lawful and you're annoying. But anyway, the only thing I know for certain is that Savamalik must die. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to keep going do what we came to the best to do there's no other way out yes commander the sooner we finish here the sooner we'll return to Dresden thank you for not abandoning me and for your words I'm going to make what make that demon regret the day he was spawned that's my duty and I'll see it done whatever it takes alright oh geez we leveled alright so let's give it a real save before we try to mess with that um Okay. Yeah, I only keep the last five saves in case you guys were wondering what I'm doing. Yeah, I only keep the last five saves. Also, I wanted to look at my alignment, too. What is it now? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, see, he has a spell book, but he has no spells because he's a fallen paladin. But anyway. Ugh. I'm going back towards neutral good again. I've been being too good and not chaotic enough. I think that lawful choice messed me up, too. But anyway... <laughs> Anyway, I want to be chaotic neutral, damn it. All right, so I got a level. I don't have anything written down for me, although I'm sure Atrocious would like me to pick Meta Magic Selective Spell, but we'll see. Uh, so Wuljif is higher than me with that, and I'm the highest with this. So I'm definitely going to get another one in that. I suppose I should put another one in Trickery. Hey, I've got an extra point. Cool. I usually only have two. So I guess I'll put one in trickery just in case Wolder's not with us and Arushalay is not with us. And then... Mm, it's like, I know that Nelladrakhan is very important in the final fight, but Wolder will be doing the, that check because he's probably going to be with us in the final fight. Because mm, in the final fight, I'll pick my party. I won't just RNG it because it's too important and too hard. Um, but if I RNG in the meantime, I might need some more trickery if I don't have Aru or Wolgif with me. Uh. Mm. Yeah, because Wolgif has higher Arcana, and he's going to be with me in the final fight. But he might not be with me before then, and Aru might not be. Uh, 
I guess we'll put it in that for now. Okay, and I will be right back, guys. So, and then we'll continue with our leveling. So, be back in a minute. I'm back. Hopefully it didn't decide to <laughs> end my stream randomly again. All right, so leveling. Oh look, we get a feat. Uh, this is what Atrocious is bugging me to get. I don't know if he's here lurking or not. All right. I don't have anything written down for my character that combat casting might be good though. Snapshot, I never use a bow. Yeah. Um uh, I suppose I can get it, but I'm never gonna use it because don't you have to set all those up ahead of time? And like spend an hour or two or three or four or ninety setting all those spells up for meta magic. Because I remember the one time I used it for the one trickster thing, and I had to spend so much time going through and setting them all up, and it was just so annoying and tedious. But anyway, hello, Taco. Mm -hmm. I think you followed earlier, right? Thank you. Okay, um, so I guess I'll get this because I don't know what spells are going to be in the list. Maybe Sirocco will be there. Sirocco may be a good one to select a spell for. School power. At 15th level, pick one school of magic. What am I getting? Okay. Just notifications. <laughs> Coming in late. All right. Anyway. <laughs> But anyway, 15th level, pick one school of magic. The DC for any spells you cast from that school increase by two. The bonus stacks, the bonus granite by spell focus. Well, I think evocation is the one I probably use the most. Probably. All right. So is Sirocco in here? No. Waves of fatigue, though. So what's in here? Um, cloud kill. Hmm. Spell generates a bank of fog. It's vapors, yellowish green. The vapors automatically kill any living creature within three, with three or fewer HD. Living creature the four to six slain. Unless living creature more than six. Constitution damage. Nice. That moves. That might be a good one to use, like, to spell on. Fire Snake is here, too, though. Phantasmal Web. Shadow Evocation. Hmm. Maybe. Waves of Fatigue. So, should I get Cloud Kill and make it a selective spell or something? 
don't have Sirocco in, the, in my list, though. If I didn't have Select a Spell, I'd probably end up going with a... Uh, either Thoughts... Yeah, probably Thought... Not Thoughts, I'm just looking at that. But uh, probably um, Fire Snake. All creatures. I mean, this sounds nice if I make it a selective spell. Because I normally never use it because I don't usually have selective spell. Um, guess we'll get it for now. Alright. So what else is in here? Oh, that's right. We're, we've got more. There's Hellfire Ray, which I thought I had. Oddly did not. That's also a fun one. I'm death to death. Guess we'll get my Hellfire Ray. And what else? Is this where Sirocco is? No. I used Exhaustion. Umbral Strike is nice. Um, Joyful Rapture. That's like Unbreakable Heart plus Restoration. But I'm not really the healer. Finger of death. That'd be 70 points. So, let's see. Finger of death with Plague Storm is also interesting. Evil. Evil. It was? I did not see it. Oh, there it was. Good eye. I didn't see it. Sirocco is so bad when it hits you. What? I was going to say, well, <laughs> blast the furnace hot wind, blasts downward, inflicting 4d6 fire damage, 1d6 caster level, all creatures in the air, knocking them prone. <laughs> Becomes fatigued or exhausted. It's so bad when you get hit with that. Alright, so I gotta make Cloud Kill and Sirocco into selective spells. Yeah, I didn't even see that. It's so hard to notice things when you're streaming. <laughs> that people like in the stream are like, why didn't you see that? <laughs> it's just so hard. Alright, let's see. Um, so instead of Hellfire Ray, we'll go Sirocco right now. So let's see. Umbral Strike is good. Joyful Rapture is really good, except it's not. I'm not really a healer, but it is really good. Uh, the Finger of Death sounds fun, too, though. Now, what was I looking at the here? You create a hideous gray cloud, similar to fog cloud. Occasionally crackles. Da, da, da. These is chosen by you when you cast a spell. Con damage, wisdom damage, int damage, dex damage. Hmm. Da, da, da. This one for caster level. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I think. Plague Storm does sound fun as well. Umbral Strike is nice too, though. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with Finger of Death for now. So now I've got to also set up metamagic stuff for what? Cloud Kill and Sirocco. Did I get Banishment for free? Cool. Cool. I can deal with that. Okay. Anyway. All right, next is my boy. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. I got higher persuasion than him somehow. But he's the one doing the world check, so we'll give him one in that. Mm. He's also the one doing the magic device checks. Guess we'll give him that. And that. I guess. Alright. 
So he has select a channel, extra channel, allied spellcaster, extra channel, spell penetration, great spell penetration. Brew potions. Um, let's see. What else shall we get you, my darling? Another extra channel. He already can channel a whole hell of a lot, though. As I said before, my day can channel all day and all night. Um, what? 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 I was talking about channeling. You all get dirty minds. Okay. Persuasive. Well, no shit. Okay, um, yeah, moving on, moving on. Stealthy, two-weapon warrior priest. Wings! I could give day wings. Yeah, that's okay. Alright, um... I could give him that. I don't know if I'm gonna, he's going to even have any spells that are going to need that, honestly. We'll look. I kind of want to give him either Die Hard or another channel, but he already channels a whole lot. Um, proved critical. Uh, weapon. Meh. Yeah, he's our healer, so I think we kind of want to keep him alive. You know, and there's that whole the other thing. Where, uh, if Day's in mortal danger, everything around him will die. Um, <laughs> I know that doesn't actually happen in the game the way it should. Yes, you can have Day die in the game. In, in battle, it can happen. But technically, it should not happen because of the other. And they, they try to uh, write it off as, um, well, I, the other just knew that you could revive me. And that's why it didn't do that. But, you know, whatever. So, I think we'll get him die hard because we kind of want to keep our healer alive. Plot armor. <laughs> yes. Oh, jeez. Let's see. He's got channel, safe curing, combat healer, and life sense. Now, enhanced cures, oracle level, life link, spirit boost. Maximum hit points heals based on your oracle level, not the limit. Um, healing spells heal target up to maximum hit points. Any excess points persist for one round per level. I think we'll get him that one for now. Alright, so. Is there any in, anything in here that would give me a reason to give him selective whatever? I don't think so. I mean, flame, flame strike... Mm, it does hit other people, but only if the people are in melee range. Raise dead is nice, but it requires uh, special ingredient to slay living. Very tempting. Is there anything we absolutely have to give him? Healer-wise. Bone shatter. D6. Slay living. It's a touch spell, but... Hmm. I think I'll get him that. Banishment. Very nice, but let's see what else is in here. Create undead. Hmm. He's got harm. Hellfire ray. Plague storm. Hmm. Anything absolutely necessary as a healer that he's got to get in here? Because I always got to get in the hilly stuff first. But if there's nothing hilly that he needs, we can go with something hurdy. Um, banishment is so fun, I think. But banishment won't work in the abyss. It'll work after that, though. And before that, <laughs> if we could go back in time. Elemental Assessor is also nice. Um, harm, also good. But harm and slay living are kind of, yeah, same thing. For the most part. Mm. Blade barrier's interesting. Hellfire, yeah, I'm thinking about that, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll get him Hellfire, Ray. And another one. Alright, destruction. I like destruction. Resurrection. That also requires a diamond, though. Two diamonds, it looks like. I don't like using the ones that require stuff, because we don't really have a lot of that. 
and I don't like thinking that I can do something and then finding out that I can't do it because I don't have the right uh, reagent or whatever. So let's see, destruction, umbral strike, both nice. I think we'll go with destruction. All right. See, didn't give him any healing stuff, but there was nothing really healy in there that he needed that he doesn't already have other than the ones that required diamonds. So, meh. Yeah. But I've seen people that never use Day as a caster, just as a healer, and I'm like, mm, he can be a really good caster if he doesn't need to heal anybody, so I'm going to give him some nice spells for if that's the case. All right, so we'll just, my dude, what, do, what are you up to, sir? We're level 15 now, huh? Well, obviously trickery and stealth. You're our trickery and stealth guy. And mobility when Lynn's not here. And you're also an ar arcana person. Yeah, I'm going to keep pumping that up because knowledge arcana is so important if you want the good ending without um, having to do ascension. Yeah, if you want the good ending, I'm not, without spoiling it, I'm just saying that if you want the good ending without having to do ascension, you have to pass a knowledge arcana check and you have to pass a persuasion check. That's why I keep saying that those are the two most important things in the final fight. I, I would like to give him more in perception, but I think that these other ones are probably more important in this case. Nenio's might still be higher than his, but I can't see it right now because she's not with us. But anyway, what can you get, my dude? He's got two up and fighting, double slice, point blank shot, precise shot, accomplishing point white spell pen. Fook. I have zero in Arcana. <laughs> well, then make sure you put lots of Arcana in one of your companions so they can do the check for you. Because another thing that you need Arcana for, it seems like something simple, but I watched somebody that had a party at the beginning of the game with no Arcana until they got Wuljif, and they couldn't identify anything they picked up. Because they didn't have any arcana on anybody in the party. Because it was like during the um, beginning of the game. When you only have like Camellia and Sila And Lan. And he couldn't identify anything he picked up. Because nobody had arcana until he got Wuljif. But anyway. Um, let's see. Did I give him Sirocco? I don't even remember. I'll have to look. The thing is, I usually have him meleeing when he can. I do have him casting. Greater two weapon fighting, get a third attack with your offhand weapon. But at a minus ten penalty. Hammer the gap, repeatedly strikes the same location, causing increasing amounts of damage. Hammer the gap might be good for him. Weapon focus, I think he's got two daggers now, right? Hmm. So I'm thinking Hammer the Gap or Weapon Focus, but we'll look at this other stuff. Combat Casting, maybe. But Combat Reflexes would also be good for him. Critical Focus would also be good for him. So many. Die Hard, also. <gasps> Greater Spell Pen. Oh I, did have, oh, I did have it written down that he failed a Spell Pen check. So as much as all this other stuff sounds really good, he did fail a Spell Pen check. So I think I'm going to have to give him that. Crap. Did I not give Darren spell pen? Because I had that written down too. Whoopsies. But I think Darren already had it, didn't he? <laughs> I'm reading that cap. Yeah, I think... Dar didn't Darren already have spell pen and greater spell pen? I thought he did. Alright. What's in here? He's got a crap ton of spells he can get. A lot more than I can. Um... Yeah, I think he had, I think he had both. What's in here, though? Shuttle Conjuration. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Wow, he doesn't have that many, but these are only his level 3 spells. Force Punch, that's melee. He's usually meleeing when he can melee. Alright, um, um, confusion, yeah. see, I don't know if, 
the web is working, because I know grease wasn't working before. Polymorph, that seems like something we'll just would do too. Just for the lols. I guess I'll get him Fire Snake for now. Oh, he gets another one. Okay, fine. Um, cone of Cold. Mm. He's usually up close, so that might be good for him as well. I don't know. So many choices, so many choices. Just because I don't think anybody else has it, I might as well get him Cone of Cold, because he's usually up close when he can be. So that would be kind of funny. So yeah, I guess we'll get him that. Tiff! Darren usually equip the Stormlord Bracer. I think he does have that. But yeah, welcome back. I think I saw you here once before. But yeah, I think I think Darren does have the Stormlord thing. Because I think I gave it to him when we were in Blackwater. Because he needed some more lightning-y stuff. But yes, I think he has that. I'll have to look. I also have to do some meta magic crap. I usually never use meta magic, but I got a couple spells on my character that I'm going to have to put select a spell on now. But yeah, I think, I think Darren does have that. Not sure, though. I think so. Because he was using Chain Lightning in their uh, fight earlier today. So he must have it, I think. Or Lightning Storm or something. I don't know. I think he's got it, though. Alright, so. Danger Sense, what is that? Mm, traps. Traps, traps, okay. Yeah, let, let's look before we... I think he's got the Stormlord's Bracers on. Yeah, Stormlord's Resolve. That thing, is that what you mean? That's what he's got on. Yeah. All right. Your turn, says you. Uh, I guess religion, Mr. Cleric Man? Um. Squeeze through tights. All right, um. I guess perception helps everybody, so we'll give him some in that. All right, what do you have? Selective channel, extra channel, toughness. Our, when did I give him toughness? Iron proficiency, heavy armor, channel cleric, blind fight, allied spellcaster, spell pen. All right, um, combat casting, eh. Maybe. Die hard, a little bit. Oh yes, I did have spell pen written down for Sozeal too. So I guess we'll give him that. And look, a bunch of free spells. Cool, cool. Alright. So, Firestorm's cool. I mean, I guess that could be useful. Death Clutch. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Euphoric Tranquility. Storm bolts, interesting. Soul Reaver. This is good if it's not bugged anymore. I mean, Grease was bugged, so I assume all the other area of effect CC stuff was bugged as well. And I didn't see anything in the patch notes last time you did a patch. But I heard at the very beginning of a uh, stream that there's another trailer for some DLC, which I'm going to have to check out. But I've got so much other stuff I have to do after I finish streaming today. It's so annoying. But anyway, um. All right, cool. That looks all fun and lovely. And we definitely should rest after this because anytime you level up, it's always good to rest so you actually have your shit together. Why are you fatigued, dude? All right, Lan. Lan, uh, well, I know he... Mobility, athletics, and I know he failed a stealth check earlier. Should probably give him more in perception, but if we don't have Voljif or Rishle, he'll be doing the stealth checks. And he's already got we've already got lots of people with perception, so me. 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 Oh my god, it's so hard for me to figure out what to do with you. You're just an archer. Um let's see, so that's what he's got right now. Ugh, deadly aim. 
one penalty. No. F that noise. Uh, critical focus? Maybe. He already crits a bit, but maybe we'll get him that. Let's see what else is in here. Mm. Yeah, let's get him meta magic. No, just kidding. All right. Mm. Seize the moment. All right. Spell pen. Yeah, that's for you, Lan. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, I think we'll just get him critical focus. Why not? Because, you know, Lan barely does any damage. He needs all the help he can get. If you believe that one. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Outflank is, um, usually it's when you're next to somebody in melee. So I usually only give that to the melee people. But he's not usually in melee. Occasionally he'll be in that range, but not that often. All right. Anyway. Trevor. I would, oh, God. Trevor and his 900 classes. What am I going to do with you, my buddy? Also, remind me to check Ivu. I don't think I can do anything with her right now. Okay, so I guess two-handed fighter is his highest thing. God, you've got so many freaking classes, my dude. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what are you best at? Uh, athletics and world and mobility. Sure. Um, yeah. Mm, one type. I don't even know what the hell he's using. Clink, clink, shut. What? What? Um, blind fight. Could be good. Might get that for him, but let's. Combat reflexes also, but I think blind fight might be better. Critical focus is nice as well. Extra lay on hands. He can even use lay on hands because he's a fallen paladin. Um,. Outflank might be good for him, too. Yeah, this is uh, whenever you and an ally who also has this feet are flanking the same creature, your flanking bonus and attack rolls increase. So I'm thinking outflank. Or blind fight. But I think blind fight would be just a tad more useful. But not by much. What? What is Bombs? What, what are you talking about, game? Why is that recommended, you weirdo game? Alright, so I think for now we'll get him blind fight. Alright. If I could ever find it. Lunge? I've never used lunge. Let me look at that. I've never even looked at that. Lunge. Down to this we go. Increase the reach of your melee attacks by five feet until the end of your turn by taking two penalty on your AC until your next turn. Ugh. You must decide to use this before any attacks. I'll probably always forget it. That's the thing. I'll probably always forget it, though. Yeah, I... But anything you have to use ahead of time, I almost always forget to do. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. I might get that form at some point, but... what What is this? Bonus combat feat. Can I get it now? I suppose. Wait, now what? Didn't I just get him blind fight? Oh, I can get him something else. All right, cool. I guess I can get it, but I'm probably never going to remember to use it is the problem. It's like anything you have to do ahead of time, I never even think of. But I guess I'll put that on him because the only other thing I was looking at for him was outflank. Yeah. Or... All right. Strong grip, eh? All right, Trevor. That's your business, I think. Okay. <laughs> Dazzling and shattered. See, I never play melee classes, so most of these I've never even used or looked at. Hmm. But will that make them run away? Because if it makes them run away, they'd be out of melee range, wouldn't they? Shattered offenses. I mean, it's oh, I don't see shattered offenses. Where is that? Well, did I say it? Or is it some part of dazzling display thing? 
Oh, it's a prerequisite for shatter defenses. I mean, I see, I never play melee classes, so most of these I've never even looked at. These opponents on the L defend themselves, you strike them if their defense is already compromised. Shake and frighten or panicked opponent hit by you this round is flat footed to your attacks until the end of your next. So I don't know, what do we, I mean, I don't play melee, so what do we think? Dazzling display, lunge, or outflank? Or something else? Because I don't really play melee often. Outflank. Yeah, outflank's probably the one I would go to. If I weren't having. Uh, well, Sela, Sal, and Graybore have it. Because they're my main melee people. I don't know if Regil or Wolgif have it. It doesn't say they do. But I know those three do. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's the one I normally pick after blind fight. That's the one I was looking at. Yeah, I'm not very versed with melee classes at all because I almost never play them. The only melee classes I usually even deal with are my companions, and I usually give them the same thing every time. But he's done, been doing a crap ton of damage in this fight, this last fight. All right. So let's go ahead and save. It is almost time. I don't know. We'll go to camp. And then we'll probably just about be out of time because we're going to have to get to camp, sell stuff. we got to loot all this, first of all. Now, how are we supposed to undo this trap? Okay, it's over here. Good. I was going to say, how are we supposed to get past that to undo that? This is my kind of work. All right, so let's loot these foals, and then we'll go to camp and sell stuff. My tail is twitching. What? Must be a sign. Another trap. Cool. Holy crap. Alright. Pretty good, aren't I? Yep, well, Jeff, why aren't you romanceable? Tell me that, my dude. I mean, what? What? All right, any other loot up on this side? I don't think there is. Um, send it here. Might be trap. Might be treasure. Um, is a trap. Hold on. I'll go ahead. Yeah, I, I seem to. I, I thought I said uh, there's traps in here, but I couldn't remember. I would guess. I vaguely remembered that anyway. Alright, so we'll go to camp, I guess, after this. And uh, look at our... Oh, shit, we're going to have to level a bunch of other people. Might have to save that for tomorrow. I don't know how long it would take me. But we'll uh, go to camp, sell stuff, camp, and then we'll see. Because it's just about time, and I do have a bunch of crap I have to do after stream today. Including, like, you know, eating and stuff. Fatal mark. Mm. <laughs> that sounds fun. All right. Anyway. All right. So we'll go to camp. Since we leveled, and that's kind of a good thing to do after you level. So you can sort out your new spells and such. All right. Assuming we don't get attacked 20 times on the way to figuring out how to get back to camp. Because you gotta find a portal or something. It's not like uh, BG3 where you can just hit the camp button. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. Alright. So we finished lands. We still have Arishlays, Embers, and Grey Boars. Hey now, is this the one we couldn't open? Or did we not even try to open that one? What? Where'd it go? Oh, it's up there. Uh, it's up there. Is this the place with the stairs that go up? 
There's a trap up there. Hmm. I don't know. It's probably a portal or something somewhere. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. It happens. I saw loot though. It's an understandable sidetracking. No. I don't remember how to even get up there. I don't even remember. I think you gotta go up maybe here or something or I don't know. Let's just repel across or something. That'll work, right? Okay. Portal down. Eh. So, nothing there, really. Alright, so let's figure out how the hell to get back to camp. That's, uh, Valexia's house. I think I already read this, but we'll look at it. Lava floats in the fountain through a specially crafted magic portal. I'm hearing things again. And this little nonsense. Pretty sure that's not the way to get back. But anyway, <laughs> I think we do have to deal with that at some point. But night, right now, night, right now we're trying to get to camp. Ugh. Did I mention how much I love this place? I'm trying to freaking navigate this wonderful, wonderful thing. Portal up. Did we just come down from there? Nyeh. All right, why do I even look? This map is so useless. Um, maybe we do have to go across that weird bridge that we just passed. I know you have to cross it at some point. As it should be. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Can't move the camera. Just get across the bridge. Thank you. If we moved the camera, it probably would have disappeared. I love this place, really. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, because I think that's the side we came from. I just didn't notice it because the bridge was down when we crossed it at the time. Um, I don't think there's anything else back here, but we'll check. Yep. Getting sidetracked, I know. Oh, well. Here we go. There's a portal in here. That's fine. Dimension door. Yeah, we just had to move the camera a certain way. It's fine. It's fine. This place is all just a mess. Alright, anyway. Yeah, the whole entire freaking city changes depending on where your camera's facing. So fun. Let's me in. Let's be in. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I didn't know. Alright. And look, we came in the back door this time. Alright. Alright. Let us go back to camp, shall we? What is this? Rapture, rapture. Oh, that's our date with Valexia. Yeah, Heim. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, we don't have a lot of time left, so we're probably just going to go sell stuff. And then tomorrow I'll start with leveling people, I guess. Assuming I can stream tomorrow and nothing weird happens like stupid snow days or any other nonsense that often screws with my streams. Okay, anyway. No, I'm by myself again. All right. Let us go sell stuff and I'm not gonna worry about leveling people right now. Because it's gonna probably take a bit. All right. Uh, let's see. I've got nine-ish minutes. All right. Yes, I know. I have to level so many people. Oh, so many people I have to level. Five, six. Six people I have to level. That's how I think I'll just start tomorrow. Sneaky character. Alright, I don't know if we picked up anything useful. I'll worry about leveling people. 
tomorrow. Um, 717, 7 to 14. I don't really use armor. Oh my god, so much stuff. What is this? Oh, you. Those bastards! Do you see what they did? They took off Darren's necklace and put that on me instead. Yeah, I know it's armor, but that's Darren's necklace. We'll put this on somebody else. Alright, um. Charisma. Five competence bonus to. Hmm. What? What? Alright, um. Yeah, that might be nice for some people. Turn based games. <laughs> Uh, this thing. That's a nice, nice buff, though. Ring of Protection 3. Oh, I got Ring of Protection 3 on. Oh my god. So much stuff. I have to look through so much stuff. You know what I think I'm gonna do, guys? You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm going to do the stuff like the, uh, leveling up and the checking inventory for buffs and stuff. I think I'm going to do that off stream because it's going to take a really long time to go through all the inventory and the, and the leveling and all that, which I normally do do on stream, but I think in this case I'll probably just do it off stream at some point. We'll see. Or maybe I'll just do it at the beginning and tomorrow since there's usually not that many people watching at the beginning. Although today there was actually people here before I even started. I was like, were you guys just sitting there looking at my, my channel when I wasn't even on? <laughs> yeah, because usually it takes a while for people to show up. And then when I got here today, as soon as I started, it's like, you, three viewers already. And I'm like, dude, I didn't even start yet. But <laughs> anyway. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. And we'll worry about all the inventory and stuff later. Because I do have some crap I got to do before dealing with people. So going to end like five minutes early today. I know I'm ashamed too. But anyway, um, thank you guys for hanging out, and uh, thank you for the, the raid, and thank you for the follows, and thank you for the donation. So, it was definitely a better Monday than usual. I got some follows, I got a donation, I got a raid, so all good, and um, hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. I don't know if I'll start with leveling and going through inventory or not, or if I'll do it off stream. We'll see. We'll see if I if I get the energy to do it off stream or if we'll just start with it tomorrow. But anyway, five minutes early. I I, I have been starting early a lot. You know that I've been starting early a lot. Today is probably the first day in about a week or two that I started on time instead of early. But anyway, again, thank you guys so much for the raids, the follows, and the donation. So hopefully I will see you all tomorrow. If I don't start early, I usually start four hours before now. But I've been starting early a lot, so I'll be on by 11 my time, if not earlier, probably. <laughs> so thank you again, and um, hopefully I will see you all tomorrow for more uh, Wrath of the Rain.